Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for May 17th to the 23rd. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I do post quite frequently over there. Uh, different readings, that sort of thing. So if that is something that interests you, then you can definitely check that out. Okay. The link for that is down below. So we have cornucopia <laughs> and we have a man holding a heart at the bottom of the deck. So um, I see for some of you, like for some of you, if you're in a relationship, I see somebody like spoiling you, somebody who's wanting to spoil you. Um, for those of you who are not in a relationship, I see you coming into union possibly with somebody um, or just maybe even enjoying your time with somebody. So let's see what else is going on for Aries this week, Spirit. What else is going on for Aries? So we have the Page of Wands, Three of Swords, the Sun in the recent past. Current energy, we have the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, and Death. Okay, and then in the near future, we have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. Interesting. I kind of feel like um, I feel like this is a situation where like you could be coming into union with somebody or the, the relationship is changing in some capacity. We have the Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Sun here um, for the recent past energy. So I kind of feel like for some of you, um, it's like there could have been definitely some communication. I feel like this was like a newer person. Like this isn't really somebody who you've necessarily been with for a long time. Um, but I feel like this person did bring, there was a lot of happiness, there was a lot of joy um, here with this person, a lot of, uh, kind of like a spark with this person, but I kind of feel like as well, either somebody was maybe trying to get over a Three of Swords energy, or they were still kind of in it, um, you could have been leaving it, or they could have been leaving it, um, but I also feel like possibly there could have been something within this connection that didn't work, um, that caused some sort of an issue. Now, with that being said, I feel the current energy with the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, and Death. So I feel like there's something transforming here for you guys with the Death card. Um, and I feel like it's within love. It's something that you guys actually want uh, with the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. This is like happiness, wish fulfillment. And I also kind of see that with these two cards here. It's like the Cornucopia with the man holding a heart. It's like getting what you want in a relationship, right? The cornucopia is abundance. It talks about um, having an abundance of things, right? Um, but it's things that you want, things that make you feel good. And I feel like possibly it could be this person. Um, so this person could be even just showing you a lot of love or giving you a lot of love with the nine of cups. But I also feel like it's like you feel really happy. So I feel like it's almost like the transformation is going from this three of swords into the nine of cups energy. And then in the near future, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Four of Wands, and the Hanged Man. So somebody could be thinking about um, a relationship here, even with the Four of Wands. Um, there could be some movement or travel back and forth to like someone's house or something like that. Um, but I kind of feel like there's something here with the Hanged Man where it's like, there's communication of moving forward, but I don't know if things are actually moving forward it's like somebody wants to move forward or maybe there's maybe they're seeing this differently even um but i do see like somebody's becoming more clear with the king of swords being the overall energy this could be you guys um four of cups somebody may have felt like they missed an opportunity or somebody maybe feels like someone may seem a little bit cold and detached here as well and it could be this other person so you may maybe been questioning whether this person you know, wants to be in a relationship. Uh, what's this three of swords in the recent past here for Aries? Could also be you because it was the emperor. So that's also also Aries card. So we have three of swords is clarified by the world. So someone is, um, yeah, I feel like someone was overcoming a, a recent heartbreak or a recent ending of a relationship. 
that I feel like they're, they were now branching into something new. This could be you. So maybe you left a relationship and now you're finding someone new. What's the sun here for? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are changing. You're moving to a better place, I feel. You, some of you are, are like putting yourself out there. You're being noticed by people because you're, you're coming out of hermit mode. I feel like you could have been in hermit mode again, just trying to heal from the heartache of the past. But I feel like that's over now. Um... What's this death card here in the near or the, in the current energy here for Aries? What's this death card here? You also could be dealing with a Scorpio um, as well because we do have a lot of wa water energy and specifically with the death card. We also have Pisces here. Uh, we have Eight of Cups. So a lot of you walked away from something here. Again, there there could have been like options. Somebody could have walked away from an option in order to move towards this connection. Um, tell me more about this death card here. Three of Cups. Yeah, there was, I feel like somebody had, um, I feel like somebody was leaving another connection. Or someone needed to leave another connection in order for this one to come together. Because we do have the Two of Cups. So I feel like someone walked away from another person or they were leaving another relationship as they were kind of like getting into this one, if that makes any sense. What's this Nine of Cups here in the current situation for Aries? What's this nine of cups here? Ten of swords. So, and the ace of pentacles. I feel like this person, they want to end this. Like, they, this is what they want with the nine of cups. They wanted this to end, this other relationship, so that they could come into possible union with you. Now, this could be you as well, leaving another connection, moving towards somebody new. Because I do see that there's, a, there's somebody here, whether it's you or this other person, is leaving... A previous relationship but it's like it's finally over with the ten of swords and so this person's happy that they can move on again that whether that's you or them what's this two of cups white newman yeah starting over starting fresh nine of pentacles so this person is becoming single so that they can start a relationship with you ten of wands they're putting down the burden of the past yeah So somebody is leaving a different relationship um, in order to clear their energy to be in a relationship with you or vice versa, right? Um, what is this hanged man here in the near future for Aries? What is this? We have the Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Someone's holding back even though they want to offer something here. Um... Again, I feel like they're they're holding back until they end something. The the Black Newman talks about an ending. But I feel like they're holding back. They do have an offer here with the Page of Cups, but again with the 7 of Swords, the 4 of Pentacles, they're holding back the the hanged man holding back. Um but they're working on I feel coming forward. What's this Knight of Swords? nine of swords so a lot of them are trying to leave this nine of swords or they're stressed about coming forward and giving this offer because i feel like it's a relationship with the four of wands here yeah ten of cups it's a relationship that the person wants to offer you so they're waiting until it's like until they're ready king of cups until they can express emotion to you um in order to be able to come towards this connection Anything else? The moon. I feel like maybe you don't know this. Again, I don't really feel like they're expressing themselves or kind of keeping their feelings back. But I also feel like they, they're they going to reveal this when the time is right. Like when they feel like it's the right time. Clarify the moon. Yeah, eight of wands. The hermit. They're going to kind of come out and express how they feel when they feel ready because i feel like they do have something they want to say to you with this page of cups but they're holding it back Oops. sorry my thing just fell <laughs> 
Uh, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Tower, and the Judgment. So again, something might kind of force them to say something or to make a decision here with the Tower and Judgment. So something like making, having them choose. They could be resisting um, making a decision here about maybe what even what they're going to say. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Some of them it's like struggling to become single like they i don't know there could be an issue that they or a specific decision they have to make in order to become single in this situation so let's see what your advice is aries but this person will come forward when they're they're ready they want to actually offer you something they don't just want to like talk to you i guess i guess if that makes sense we have the page of pentacles here what else does aries need to know for advice this week high priestess and the fool with the emperor here. So that's you guys. Um, I feel like a lot of you are kind of like, just like keeping to yourself with the high priestess. There's a lot of like, there's all single individual people here in this card, right? So I kind of feel like, um, keep working on, I feel like there's possibly something new that you're working on. Keep doing that with the fool and the page of pentacles. You could be learning something new as well um i feel like you're you're learning something it could be something spiritual as well like something through like your intuition or something listen to your intuition as well but i feel like you could be taking action towards um something new or like learning something new in your life so i feel like just keep focusing on that don't be worried about this person because i feel like you've got things that you are maybe needing to do but I feel like this other person has something to kind of close out before they're fully able to kind of come towards you. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, that is your weekly reading. Uh, you can check out your other signs um, as the week goes on. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.